Todd Hurst, and I'm a cardiologist who specializes in the prevention of heart disease. Welcome to Your Health Questions Answered. Can your HDL or good cholesterol be too high? This is an interesting question that I usually hear from a patient who has been told by another doctor that they will never have a heart attack because their good cholesterol is so high. While it would be great if a very high HDL was a guarantee against heart disease, the truth is that it is not. In fact, often, although not always, a very high HDL may indicate a higher than average risk for heart disease. Here is one patient's story and how we determined her risk for heart disease. Before we get started, I will emphasize that this information is for educational purposes only and is not medical advice. Don't make any decisions about your medical treatment without first talking to your doctor. So this is a real patient of mine, although of course not her picture. This woman is 62 years old and came to see me because she was concerned about her risk for heart disease. On the surface, she appeared to be the picture of health. Normal weight, she's active with good blood pressure, she's never smoked, no history of diabetes, and she takes no medications. However, she was concerned because her mom had a heart attack at a young age. Here is her cholesterol numbers and they are quite unusual. Her HDL is very high, in fact one of the highest I've ever seen at 171, and her LDL is quite low for someone on no medications. This would appear to be a great cholesterol profile, and when we put her numbers in a risk calculator, she does come out with a low risk score. She told me that many doctors have told her that she will never have a heart attack because of her great cholesterol numbers, but she is still concerned because her mom, who had a heart attack at a young age, had similar cholesterol numbers. So the question remains, is she at high risk for future heart disease or low risk? We decided to do a test to help us decide. And that test was an ultrasound test of her neck or carotid arteries. And what we found is that she had a lot more artery disease than expected for her age and healthy lifestyle. What we learned from this test was that her HDL was not protective for her. If you are trying to decide if taking a statin would be right for you, download my free guide, Should I Take a Statin? This gives a balanced view of the risks and benefits of taking statin medications so that you can make the right decision for your goals. There is a link below this video. So good cholesterol levels that are very high, for example over 100, may not be protective and may even be a marker of increased risk. One of the more challenging things in cardiology is accurately predicting who is at risk for heart disease before a heart attack occurs. Talk to your doctor if you're concerned about your risk for heart disease. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and family, and be sure to subscribe. I would love to connect with you on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and you can join my Better Health community at ToddHurstMD.com where we talk about your better health, better life, and better weight loss.